Hello, ho, ho. So here it is. Merry Christmas. Everybody's having fun, except everyone. Anyway, let's try and inject a bit of Christmas cheer into the old Yule season through the ultimate magic, the magic of Poundland. Yes, I've been to many Poundlands and retrieved items of such beauty the gods themselves weep and curse their own hideousness. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a good year this year. In fact, if I don't go next year, I've probably got enough items to tide me over for them as well. <laughs> oh, Poundland, thank you so much. So, let us begin with items you would hang off your Christmas tree. I don't know why I did that as if there was a Christmas tree there, because there isn't. Imagine it. That was fun, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So, let's start with what is the most traditional thing you would have on your tree? Probably you have a star or a fairy or angel thing on the top of the tree, aren't you? Baubles are popular, tinsel. But of course... What everybody really wants is the Merry Christmas glittery slice of pizza. And here it is with a purple crust. Because somebody's put icing on it? I don't know. Why is the pizza gold? Well, th that's a stylistic choice to look more Christmassy. I don't know. Got gold and red, which I understand. But yeah, that purple bit is a bit odd. Is there any hint on here? Tree decoration. Warning. Keep away from reality. Yes, thank you. So, yeah, let, let's begin with our Merry Christmas pizza slice. I, I think it's pepperoni. Or maybe they're buboes and it has bubonic plague. I honestly don't know. Um, don't hurt anyone. <laughs> Why is it blue? I don't know, is the answer to that. Also, it's, it's got lots of little warts and things on it that I think are supposed to be like um, sprinkles or something, but actually look like something that's dropped off a nanobot or something. I, I, it's very odd. I don't know. But anyway, golden blue donut. Don't worry, the next one's perfectly normal. Oh, wait, I'm lying. It's a silver pineapple. This is really solid, by the way. You could chuck this at somebody and really do some damage. Yeah, there's a task for later. Um, yeah, so silver glittery pineapple with, with black leaves. It's been in the window a bit too long. Um, okay then, yes. Anyway, enough food stuffs. Here's some headphones. <laughs> sort of an attempt at something more modern from Poundland, I suppose. They've gone through the bizarre um, food. So, oh, sit on your side then. See if I get. Oh, well, no, I've scared it now. Stay. Um, if you're good, you can use the headphones in a minute. They had these in pink and blue, but I can only find the blue ones that weren't broken. So that's always nice. Quite a, quite a lot of uh, escaped glue on there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's nice. A little bit of glue hair. Always positive. Uh, yeah, so it's starry headphones. Hang them off your tree and, well, it's 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 modern, isn't it? I, I suppose. Well, they do look like a sort of design that came about in the 80s, but let's not get into that. 70s, in fact, looking at the uh, sides of them. Well, nice pair of hands and all that. Um... Do you know, I was very disappointed because in a Poundland I went in, they had really bizarre looking, again, things to hang off the tree, but they were joy pads, as in, you know, like a controller for a PlayStation, but really oddly looking. Um, and I really wanted one, but they were all broken. So I thought I shall go into another Poundland and get a non-broken one. Never saw them again. Obviously they were such a big seller. I don't know why I said that vaguely sarcastically. They probably literally were. Um, well, uh, what, what could you do? What more could you want? You've got all this beauty on your tree. All you really need now is a fabulous duck. And they don't come much more fabulous than g g gluey eyeball man here. There we are. Let's get that out there for you. He's some sort of royalty. Got a crown going on. Um, a nice blue ruff. A lot of glitter. Golden beak. Silver glitter on the back. And it's clearly made of polystyrene because it's very, very light. Which means it will catch fire in seconds if put near any source of ignition. So don't do that. Um, yeah, warning, keep away from fire in big letters. Hang out to reach for children for decoration only. I like this. I genuinely quite like the fabulous duck. Something amusingly overly garish and funny about it. It has got a very similar colour scheme to the donut, which is a shame. There we are, sit in it, and it'll be like a pile cushion for you. Oh, he has fallen and he can't get up. Now, what brings the presents every year? What brings them along to the kids? Is it Father Christmas? Of course it isn't. Sod that fat old git. It's the, the present llama. Is this a thing from another culture? Is it actually an alpaca? Is it a man in a funny suit? I don't know. 
I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. This this sheds no light. It, this is a bit crap, I'll be honest with you. It's got a really bad paint job. It's all sort of chips where it's knocked into other ones, I would presume, in the box or something. Um, it looks more like it's got squashed cakes and soap for all the children, which is always jolly. And the eyes are a bit squiff. You want a present, mate? You want a fucking present? I'll give you a present. It'll be really nice. Sorry. I have a condition that makes me sound threatening at all times. It's called Winston syndrome. Anyway, yes, that that's that's a. a th I like it. I like his necklaces. They're, aren't aren't they jolly? And look, he's doing a little white poo. Um, great. I, 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 fair, fair, fair. Well, don't worry. There's something I think we've all wanted. We didn't know we wanted it, but Poundland have created it, and now. We can actually put it on our tree. Poundland branded gift! Yay! Notice this is actually one of the nicer ones. It's quite scratched on the front, but I think that's my fault when I brought it home in the bag. I don't think it was like that when I bought it, because I seem to remember thinking, oh, these are all uh, quite nicely done. Um, you've got your separate presents on top, but of course, they're all from Poundland, and that is your guarantee that you bought them from Poundland. Um, yeah, that, that's just great, isn't it? They've gone really meta this year, Poundland. <laughs> They've been having these sort of toy trucks and things for a while. Now we're getting the mugs and God knows what, but this this is possibly their finest um, work yet. The Poundland Christmas bauble. It's not even a bauble, is it? Christmas decoration, tree decoration. It's a square thing with a logo on it. Enjoy, dearie me. And also, um, spotted by a friend, Merry Christmas Ghost. I think it's supposed to be a snowman, but this complete lack of nose has, has just kind of turned it into a hairy mush. It's like wire with sort of vaguely tinsel stuff around it. What are they describing it as? Tinsel deck. Ah, oh, I didn't get tinsel ant. You can't have one without the other. People who aren't British are not going to get that joke. Tinsel decoration. Keep away from fire. Yeah, we've worked that one out. Um, yeah. Well, great. Right, let's move on to the next part of the video, which is dealing with a new product range from Poundland, from the makers of Elf on the Shelf. Do you remember that thing from a few years ago? There's some sort of shelf with an elf on it. It was magical. Okay, children, ready for this year's hottest item? Here they come. It's the Elf Mates. Hello, children. Hello, children. We speak with one voice, for we are the Elf Mates, and we are Legion. We fear no man and feel no pain! Anyway, Elf Mates, from the creators of the Elf on the Shelf. Thanks, guys. Giving Santa a helping hand. So there are three of them, basically. I've only bought two, because frankly, they're all the fucking same. Um, <laughs> basically, just the same thing in different colours. I think the other one was a blonde one. Yeah, there he is at the start. Gr or is, is that one him? No, yes, no. Darker green, blonde. You've got sort of uh, gingery hair and lighter green and then dark hair and red. And those are your elf mates. This one is cobbler. Not cobblers, cobbler. This one is chef. And the other one is, I don't know, military assassin droid. I've got no idea. Um, so what's the deal here, folks? Since I love shoes and the clothes that match with it, with them, I'll bring warmth to each home with flair and wit and astonishingly bad grammar. I'll remind kids who have more than enough to give away something away before they grab up more stuff, and I will sell them on my eBay page. What's this one, then? Since I use food as the way to the heart, I'll cook up kind acts to set me apart. Well, the other ones don't do kind acts. I'll remind kids who have a very full tummy to give something to those who need something yummy. 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 My eyes are dead, like my soul. So it's a very severe lack of nose going on with these things. Oh well, that I suppose is the style of the time. So they've got grippy hands, you've got a bit of Velcro on one and nothing on the other, so they sort of vaguely stick together and can strangle you in your sleep or something. Stripy socks, uh, no feet whatsoever, the boots are just like flat, which is, is quite creepy, frankly. And um, I've just realised the hats, look, so the cobbler has an L, no it's a boot! That is a boot. Das Boot! No, no, not actually like a series about a submarine. That one's got, for cooking, it's got an asteroid because its ingredients come from space. Is it a cookie? I've got no idea. Ah, oh, I kind of wish I had got the third one. Oh, wait, I can cheat because I have the head of the third one in cardboard. Look, it's got a reindeer on it. The third one is actually a toy maker. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Because, wait for it, <clears throat> not only from the land of pounds can you buy 
these fabulous dolls, but you can also buy accessories and clothing. Look, here's, here's a jumper for the toy maker. You're going to wear it though, one of the others, because um, I haven't got the toy maker one, as previously mentioned. Right, come on then. Oh, so it's made out of actual fibres. <laughs> and here is the flattened corpse of the toy maker who did not obey. Uh, my pain is infinite and forever. Right, um, so how does this work? I presume you stick his head through the hole and the arms through the other ones. That seems fairly straightforward. Come on, mate. You'll catch your death of cold in this incredibly hot room I'm in recording in. Oh, get the tag off. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's like RuPaul's Drag Race, except different in every single respect. Um, get on, jip, jip, jip. Yep, nearly in, nearly in. Put your hand through. Yay! God, it's like dressing a toddler. There we are. Now you look like you've got an early 90s jumper on that's too big for you, but was weirdly the style at the time. Amazing. Well, oh no, wait, I forgot. I've got something for the cobbler. His nightshirt. I, I don't know why he would need a nightshirt to go over his bloody apron and his existing clothes, but let's not question the elf mates, because frankly, they're scary. Um, right. Off you come. It's another corpse. Looks like something from the end of Midsummer or something. There we go. Oh, this one's got legs. I don't know why I did that. Right. Um, so this. Oh, you got to feed the lecher. Oh, I can't be bothered to dress me elf mother. Um, hang on. No, no. This one. This is easier than I thought. Actually, it looks a bit like a football top or something. Come on. He's supporting Norwich City or something with this. There we are. One of those. Actually, I did buy this from the Poundland quite near Norwich City football ground. There's a pointless piece of trivia to, as something to say while well, I spent ages fiddling with these damn bloody dolls. Do you know what? I can't be bothered. You can just look weirdly Quasimodo-like. I'm going to bed, but I'm too drunk to put me up. And it was a Merry Christmas for everyone. Right, what's the story then? The story of Elf Mates by Chanda A. Bell. Thought Chanda was a verb for a second and that was a request. That, that confused me. From the creators of the Elf on the Shelf. There they are, looking all the same. Right, at the North Pole... Oh, there's, there's several... There's not a whole lot of pages to this. Yeah, that's good enough for a pound. <laughs> at the North Pole, word got to Father Christmas. Santa, Santa, I bring sad news. There are many who are going against the true spirit of Christmas. What is that? You haven't defined terms. Also, is that little narc? Look at him. Little weird posh git. Jacob Rees Mogg's personal elf. Father Christmas was dismayed. But what could he do? All of his reporting scout elves were already busy doing their jobs for him. His tax returns and murdering his enemies. Um, go on then, what's going on? More CG Santa rubbing his chin. It's quite cheery, isn't it? I like the colours. Ah, there we are. Is that the elf on the shelf? Who has the same head as his other one? Ah, right. It's all coming true. As the elf on the shelf scout elves, they already have a mission. To watch over children and then report back, so Father Christmas can keep track of Christmas cheer. Cheer up five points over last quarter. If they are busy listening and watching, they won't have time to help in any other way. Father Christmas... Oh, right, so he gets these other elves to do shit. OK. They are also the only elves born with Christmas magic in their hearts so they can live safely among humans. What the hell are you talking about, Santa? Give me the drugs, Santa. So, um, there's the elf on the shelf looking at the child. Do my bidding. My unholy army of the night is nearly ready. Um, right, what's your job? Oh, God. There's some dead pets that have been stuffed badly. Just like you've given Christmas magic to elf pets. Oh, there's Mrs. Claus. Look at that. Um, perhaps you could also give some to other elves who live in the forest. I'm sure they too would help. Okay, okay. That's the, this is a thing that's occurring. Okay, show us the mission of... Uh, where's one of them I've actually got? Make To the makers of shoes, or cobblers as he called them earlier, he extended a mission. Since you love shoes and the clothes that match with it, bring warmth to each home with flair and wit. I've read this before. Humph. Humph, I say. Oh, that's just nearly... Nearly at the end. Have, have I missed something? No, not really. So Father Christmas armed these armed these very special elves with golden heart charms. You know what armed means, right? They're weapons. Golden heart charms full of just enough Christmas magic to make it in the human world. They would each work to carry out their new task. 
to help bring back the true spirit of Christmas. What is that? I think there's some. I think these terms need defining. I think Santa has some weird, weird ulterior motive, and his idea of the spirit of Christmas is horrendous. We must kill all the children. We were left-handed. Ho 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 ho! Mass genocide. Um, yeah, that's that is very odd. Armed with golden heart charms, the most potent weapon ever. Also, Santa here seems to be having some sort of 3D uh, clipping problem with his beard. He looks like he's from a Ubisoft game before the first patch, you know what I mean? Anyway, Chanda A. Bell is an award-winning children's author. She did not win awards for this one, I wouldn't have thought, which she probably knocked out in an afternoon. And when I say knocked out in the afternoon, she probably got somebody at the publishing house to do it while they were drunk. Well, there we are. That's the must-have toy for children this year. The cellophane bag. Bit of a jump cut there so we can see the beautiful faces of the elves. And also those. Um, make your own character! Outfits included. I always like to make my own character. This is my original character, Blonick the Hodgehead. Um, yeah, I, I, I presume by making your own character, you mean to make your exact character of Father Christmas that you have prescribed in the corner here, because those are the exact parts we have been given. Well, let's open it up and find out. I'm frankly just amused the idea of a semi-naked Santa. Ho, 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 dress me, children. Ho, 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 I've been arrested. Um, right, there's, there's some foam. There's some Santas. What is this? like a sperm whale or something. This is familiar. His dark familiar. Ah, so they're good. Ah, right, I understand. So, uh, you can take all this off and then glue it to hide his shameful nakedness from the Lord. There we are. Well, I'll put it on slightly wrong. Oh, it smells really odd. That's nice. Hmm. Stinky Santa, you smell like the output of a chemical rendering plant. Can't get the lyrics to scan. Stinky Santa, ooh ooh. Right, um, there's a beard. That's always good. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I messed it up. Hang on. I'll do the other one properly and jump cut to it so we don't have to watch it being made. And there we are. A traditional Norfolk Father Christmas. Fantastic. It's it's made me feel proper Christmassy. But remember, on Boxing Day you have to turn him over for the special Christmas message. Ah like being home again. Probably because I'm in my house. Right, let's finish up with the last few exciting items. Firstly, it's Christmas time. Nice Christmas tea light's good, isn't it? You know, one of those little flat candles. You light it, you put it in something pretty. And what do you want it in? How about a, a, a ta taxi? Is that a taxi? I don't know. It's got a massive hole in the roof. It looks like a shotgun exit wound or possibly an explosion. Possibly this is a taxi that's been blown up. Look, it's got the side gone, the roof's gone. An exploded taxi. Just what Christmas means to me, certainly. Um, does it shed any light on this? No. It's, it's the Merry Christmas bombed out shell of a taxi. Ah, it isn't Christmas until you've called a taxi and it's inexplicably blown up. Well, you go over there and then I'll throw in the bin later, because frankly, you're freaking me out slightly. Now, this is interesting, because I bought this thinking, oh, that's awful. And do you know what? I looked at it two minutes, and now I quite like it. So <laughs> this is, um, it's poly penguin, specifically low poly penguin. Yeah, it, it looks like something from a video game from 1987 or something. Um, actually, they probably wouldn't have had that many polygons, but let's not think about that. Yeah, it's just a sort of white badly glazed ceramic lump that looks vaguely like a penguin. I quite like it though, I don't know what it is. I really didn't like it when I first saw it and it has grown on me. It has grown on me like a tumour and um, yeah, now it, it's, it's going to live as part of my Christmas decorations forever due to its wonderful beauty. I wonder if I can improve it any actually. It doesn't look that... Uh... Hey, there we are. Now, now, I've, I've completely ruined it. Oh, saved it. I was worried for a second. Right, marvellous. Pengy, pengy, poly penguin. You can sit over there, because that's the only place I can reach. And, oh my god, I forgot something from earlier. I've just went out of the corner of my eye. I forgot one of the tree decorations. It was the cupcake with weird multicoloured growths coming out. At least I think it's supposed to be a cupcake. I mean, the bottom is like some sort of muffin case or something, and the top is like 
hell? I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's got stuff growing out of it. Like, oh, oh, it's making me feel slightly ill, actually. I don't really see what they were thinking with this one. You can't just give foodstuffs random colours, Pound Man. I feel this is something you need to learn in general with your uh, Christmas decorations, particularly the tree ones. There we are. Don't eat it, for God's sake. Right, <clears throat> let's finish up with some lovely cards. Um, there's a lot of Pound Man Christmas cards this year, and some of them are from this sort of sassy range that they're doing now, and are all, frankly, a bit odd. So we're starting with Merry Christmas and all that. Look, it's a smiling pile of shit with a hat on. See, this isn't quite as bizarre as you think, because there's that whole um, poo emoji thing, which is supposedly cute. So, uh, yeah, we'll give it that. This card is blank inside for your own message. My message will be love and shit. Which sounds like the next Wes Anderson film. Um, then we've got have your elf a happy Christmas. And the elves are like weird porcelain statues of uh, Kim Jong-il. Is he Kim Jong-il? He's the current one. Kim Jong-un was the last one, wasn't he? I don't know. I've, I've forgotten my Kim Jongs. Um, then you've got Donald Trump and, I believe, Vladimir Putin, although it could be any man who played a dad on a British sitcom from the 70s. It's a bit vague, that one. Why are they the elves? Isn't that the weirdest bloody thing? And finally, this is, this is the most inexplicable thing. This will need a lot of explaining, actually, in case you're not British, but... Have a merry, berry Christmas. Now let's get shit-faced. And look, this lady has brought flagons of ale for you, and she's drunk half of it already, so uh, good for her. So, just to reference here, this is supposed to be, I presume, Mary Berry. Mary Berry is a lady on the television who's old, quite posh, and is like an expert on cakes, and is like on the Great British Bake Off and that. Why... Why is she on a card about getting shit-faced? Well, it isn't her, is it? They obviously haven't licensed it. It's uh, her own uh, original character, Blonick. I mean, Mer Mary Berry, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just don't understand why Mary Berry would be getting you shit-faced. It's just... it's very odd. It's, it's just like, well, here's a thing and we can be irreverent with it. The card is now made. I'll bet it's probably sold really well as well. Anyway... Tell you what, as a special treat before we go, let's open some pages from the Christmas colouring book. I mean, they get bonus points for having you in colouring. They did lose quite a lot of points for having Santa's mouth coming through his facial hair, but hey, let's not uh, worry too much about that. Right, let's see what beautiful images we can conjure up for this Yuletide. There we are, the dead animal in a sack, and... Um, I'd, I don't know what's going on with these spider monsters, and frankly, I'm going to turn the page. Uh, what else have we got? Weird workman child near tree, holding Paddington Bear. Yeah, yeah, I approve of that one. That one's quite nice. My God, did they take that from the wrong book or something? Ah. Uh, monkey having some sort of migraine or existential pro crisis, or has just been given really bad news whilst wearing an ill-fitting hat and picking up rocks with its feet. Uh, yeah, all, always positive, always good. Um, ch child holding massive slug, which is being bitten by a elongated rat creature. Ch child, possibly not a child, but some sort of creature with massive feet and or shoes. Okay, um, t horse with eye... Ooh. Oh, I've done a spit. Sorry, guys. Um, horse with broken back and eyeball coming out with bald man with giant legs kicking a, a crystal ball. What the fuck is going... <sighs> Sorry, I've forgotten quite how bad this was. <laughs> and let's end with terrifying child trapping Father Christmas's severed head in a big spider web. Mm -mm -mm. No, I'm gonna, ha gonna have to go for one. Look, just give us one that isn't weird. That's all I'm asking for. What, what, what the? <sighs> God's sake. Um, uh, that's the most vague. Oh, look, look, look. Just some, yeah, but then we've got the Christmas chicken with skates on next to it, because apparently it wasn't weird enough. God, oh no, oh. Ho ho! Okay, there's our image to end on. An angel crushing a bird to death while covered in butt plugs. Fantastic. Well, th there we are. If that doesn't say Christmas, then what does? Blimey. Right, that's about as much Christmas as I can handle. Make sure you don't do anything bad or the elves will come and eat your face off. Yuletide. Monster.
Waiting for more.